हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ग्रासलैंड इकोसिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रॉपिकल ग्रास लैंड दैट इज सवाना टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड एंड लास्टली ग्रास लैंड एडेप्टेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक A grassland ecosystem is a type of terrestrial ecosystem characterized by vast expanses of grasses, herbs and other non-woody plants. These ecosystems are found on every continent except Antarctica. These ecosystems vary widely in terms of climate, vegetation and biodiversity. They are often referred to as the world's forgotten biome. They are called as transitional landscape as they are characterized by a scarcity of trees. due to insufficient conditions for a forest to thrive and an abundance of vegetation preventing desert formation now moving on to its characteristics climate they have pronounced seasons with scorching summers and frigid winters temperate fluctuations can be extreme ranging from 40 degrees celsius in the summer to minus 40 degrees celsius in the winter rainfall intermediate levels of precipitation which can vary from semi arid to sub humid they typically receive less rainfall than forest but more than deserts flora the plant life in temperate grasslands includes tall grasses such as buffalo grass and short grasses like blue grama they do not have forest canopies fauna these ecosystems support a rich diversity of wildlife from grazing herbivores like bison antelope and zebras to their predators like wolves and lions the biodiversity of grasslands can vary based on factors such as climate and land use fire adaptation they have adaptations that allow them to survive and thrive in wild fires grasslands are often subjected to natural fires fires help in controlling the growth of woody plants and maintain the dominance of grasses ecosystem services grassland ecosystems provide important ecosystem services such as carbon sequestration water filtration and habitat for wildlife now let's discuss about tropical grasslands that is savannas location they are generally found in tropics or subtropics usually 8 to 10 degrees from equator climate due to their location in tropics and subtropics they are characterized by a distinct wet season and dry season the characteristic temperature ranges from 20 to 30 degrees celsius the annual rainfall varies between 600 and 1500 mm summers are wet while winters are drier vegetation grasses are the dominant vegetation in savannas covering large expanses of the landscape in addition to grasses savannas also feature scattered trees and shrubs wildlife Savannas are known for their diverse wildlife. They are home to a wide range of herbivores such as zebras, giraffe predators like lions, cheetahs and hyenas are also common in savanna ecosystems. Examples: Elanos in Colombia and Venezuela, Campos in the Brazilian highlands, Pantanals in Upper Paraguay, Plains in Australia and India's Deccan Plateau. temperate grassland location temperate grasslands are generally located above the equator on the northern continents climate temperate grasslands experience a continental climate with four distinct seasons spring summer autumn that is fall and winter they have moderate rainfall during the growing season and cold winters with freezing temperatures vegetation grasses are the dominant vegetation in temperate grasslands Trees are typically absent or occur in isolated groves or along water courses. Common grasses include buffalo grass, blue grama and tall grass. Wildlife. Temperate grasslands are home to a variety of wildlife species adapted to the open landscape. Animals often associated with temperate grasslands include bison, pronghorn antelope and small mammals like prairie dogs. Examples are prairies in North America, steppes in Eurasia and pampas in South America. Now lastly let's discuss about grassland adaptations. Plant adaptations. Deep root systems. They have deep and extensive root systems that allow them to access water stored deeper in the soil. 
This adaptation helps them survive periods of drought and maintain their growth. C4 photosynthesis. Grasslands uses a C4 photosynthetic pathway which is more efficient in water and nutrient use than the typical C3 pathway. This adaptation helps them conserve water and thrive in arid conditions. Drought resistance. Mechanisms to resist drought conditions such as rolling their leaves to reduce water loss and slowing down their growth during dry periods. Fire adaptations. It includes features like underground rhizomes that allow them to re-sprout after fires or the production of seeds that germinate better after being exposed to fire. Animal adaptations. Hoofed feet. Many grassland herbivores are evolved hoofed feet which are well suited for running on open grassy plains. Hoofs help them evade predators and cover long distances in search of food and water. Carnivore speed. Predatory animals in grasslands like cheetahs and pronghorn antelope have evolved for speed. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals and use their speed to chase down prey in the open grasslands. Burrowing. Small animals like prairie dogs and burrowing owls have adapted to live in underground burrows. These burrows provide shelter from predators and extreme weather conditions while allowing them to access the abundant grasses above ground for food. Camouflage. Many animals in grasslands, both predators and prey, have developed camouflage to blend in with the grassy landscape. Nocturnal behavior. Some grassland animals are primarily active at night which helps them avoid the heat of the day and reduces water loss through sweating or panting. And social behavior. Herding behavior is common among grassland herbivores. Forming large groups provides protection against predators and can help in finding food and water sources. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims question that was asked in UPSC prelims 2021 exam also. The vegetation of savanna consists of grassland with scattered small trees. The forest development in such areas is generally kept in check by one or more or a combination of some conditions. Which of the following are such conditions? 1. Burrowing animals and termites. 2. Fire. 3. Grazing herbivores. 4. Seasonal rainfall. 5. Soil properties. Select the correct answer using the code given below. 1 and 2. 4 and 5, 2, 3 and 4 or 1, 3 and 5. And now May's question. Discuss the ecological importance of grasslands, the challenges posed by human activities and outline strategies for their conservation and sustainable management citing examples. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.